We started off with uh, the signing of the Phillies. Maybe they shopped around, see if Blake Snell was feasible, see if they can get into Sonny Gray and maybe get him to come to Philadelphia, realize that the price tag was too much and they didn't want to sign this quickly. They had Nola sitting there. He is obviously fitting with the Phillies phenomenally well. The Baton Rouge, Louisiana native. Maybe they got a little nervous because Atlanta had been sniffing around. And as a result, the Phillies make him the highest paid pitcher in Philly history. They gave him a seven-year, $172 million contract. No opt-outs uh, and no, um, uh, no opt-outs, number one. And, uh, you know, guarantees all over the place. It's, uh, you know, you can't, uh, no trade. I'm not sure about the no trade aspect, but uh, Nola now is going to be a Philly. And I understand why. Why not? He's not as good as Wheeler. We understand that. But it's all about timing when you become a free agent. And uh, Wheeler had already signed his $138 million deal a few years ago. And now it's Nola's opportunity. He's been a good major league pitcher. He pitches well in the big game. He's done a pretty good job for the Phillies. Game six notwithstanding. Was it game six he pitched in? I think it was. Yes, game six. Suarez pitched game seven. He wasn't great in game six. Gave up four runs to Arizona. But he had been very, very good prior to that. Against the Marlins, he was good. Against Atlanta, he was good. He had a first good start against Arizona. You know, he's not automatic in postseason play, but he's good enough. He understands the Philadelphia Philly mentality. Uh, this is a good step for the Phils. Money, what difference does it make? You're going to pay somebody a fortune. Who knows if they're going to live up to the contract? He is 30 years of age. But, uh, you know, they have plenty of money there. They've made a fortune. The team is beloved by those fans. Now, listen, that was the worst loss of all time. We'll see how they recover from that. And the Phillies choked. There's no other way around it. They had a 2-0 and a 3-2 lead and that Arizona beat them. Two games at home. That is, this is not the year before when the Astros hit that home run in game six. You can live with that one. And they lost the last three games to the Astros, who are a big-time team. And I don't want to get involved in this again, but they let Arizona walk in there to win game six and seven in that stadium when they had been unbeaten and dynamic in that building. That is a rough loss, and it's going to take a long time for that franchise to heal from that. But this is a step in the right direction. Maybe this begins to cure. Nola with the Phillies, seven years, 172. First big domino to fall. We'll see if that opens up free agency. And we get a lot of activity now between now and, let's say, the end of the winter meetings. I know baseball likes to save a lot of this stuff for the winter meetings to bring a lot of juice to Nashville. They have plenty there uh, when we get to Tennessee there in a couple of weeks, two weeks from today, the winter meetings begin. The other big story in baseball right now, it's circulating, and the reporters and the reports are, you know, listen, oh, these are good reporters with these reports. Sounds like the Dodgers you know, want to, uh, want you know, obviously Otani, we all know that, and Trout make a trade with the uh, Angels to see if they can bring Trout in, and why not start, and why stop there? Let's go get Dylan Seeds from the White Sox, and we'll make a lot of, we'll give up all our prospects to add these three components to our team. The other rumor, Jeff Passan had this, and he's sharp. The other rumor was is that Otani, who's secretive to begin with, if any of these teams le are leaked about who he is going to go visit, no, they're going to find out anyway. You're not going to be able to people, you know, he walks into an airport, shows up in an office, somebody's going to talk, so information's going to gather, and it's going to it's going to mushroom, and people are going to find out about it anyway, but I guess he wants to keep these, uh, you know, these discussions as uh, quiet as possible, and that's the one thing about Otani. I mean, it's almost like you got to have a clubhouse for 24 or 25 people, and then a separate, cl separate clubhouse for him. He's going to run your team, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't go near him. He's going to. He wants $500 million. He's not going to pitch next year. Uh, he's a DH. And by the way, he's going to do the things the way he wants to do it. Me media availability. He's going to tell you when he, you know, in and out of the I mean, I just wouldn't deal with that. And I know he's great. Don't get me wrong. And he plays hard. And I all that and everything else. But I'm not paying $500 million to basically have him run my team. And that is what you're going to do when you bring Otani in there. I wouldn't go near him if it was my ball club. But listen, I mean, I don't run these teams. Uh, and we all know he's going to bring in certain situations, certain. How much money can he bring the Dodgers in? They make a fortune anyway. Uh, and he's not going to sell any extra seats at Dodgers Stadium. They sell out plenty of the games as it is. But Otani has got some off-the-field benefits here as well. Uh, so if you bring him in, you get a little plus there. I think the Giants are the base, best case. But this is really more about L.A. And L.A., of course, uh, also wants to make a deal with Trout. So... 
Trout and Otani and Cease. We know the Dodgers have the money. We know the Gi Dodgers have the wherewithal. This is a franchise that has won one championship since 88, and that was a championship in a bubble with a 60-game schedule uh, a few years ago down in Texas. So no, no parades. They have not had a parade since 2000, since 1988. They had an awful loss the last two years. They didn't have any pitching. Uh, their lineup was way too top-heavy. Jason Hayward cannot be your starting right fielder in an elimination game under any circumstances. And then you pinch hitting for him in the fifth inning. You can't have that. And so, not the Dodgers. You know, uh, other team, the Marlins can, but not the Dodgers. So we shall see here, uh, you know, we know they have the wherewithal prospects and the financial ability to do that for some people. The question to me would be the Angels specifically in regards to Trout. If I was Otani, I wouldn't go to L.A. I'd go to a team where I could be the face of the ball club and I can, you know, raise them by myself. And the Dodgers are too easy. Plus, it's almost like I'm hurting the Angels by going to L.A. 35 miles away. The Angels were very good to me over the years. They did everything they could. And now I'm going to double Double the barrel on them. I'm going to leave and I'm going to walk into their arrival in the same market. I wouldn't do that if it was me. I'd feel guilty. So I'd go to San Francisco. It's not the angel rivals, so to speak. I'm not sure if he's going to do that. But the bigger issue is Trout. And would the angels be willing to trade Trout? They know they're going to lose Otani. Well, now they're not going to keep no way, not off the finish they had to the season with the 73 win year. He's out. I don't care if I don't care who Ron Washington is. He's not going to sign there. Would you trade Trout to get a lot of prospects? But would you trade him to L.A.? So you got two calls to make if you're Artie Marino. The first call is: Do you trade Trout regardless? You're going to lose Otani. You need to refur uh, refurbish that farm system. Trout could do that, but he's the face of your franchise. You're already going to take a hit with Otani out. Not necessarily your fault. It is because you haven't won, but we understand that you did your best this past year and you would pay him. But he's going to leave. Would you double down and let Trout walk? And then if you did let Trout walk, you're letting him walk to the Dodgers 30 miles to the north. Would you do that if you were the owner? Boy, that's a tough call. They have the most to give you because of prospects. So if that is your reason, you know what? They have more prospects than anybody else, so you do it. But, and he'd go there. He'd agree to that trade. But by the same token, you know, that's, uh, boy, that's tricky. Both of your guys end up in L.A. quite possibly. That's a tough call. Very tough call for the franchise.